Hi everyone. Is there such a thing as an infinite game of chess? Now this was actually a real problem that they had to solve at one point, but I'm not a chess expert. So I've recruited a chess nut here, this is Rune, from his own channel, Outre Chess, and he's gonna help me explain uh, why there can't be an infinite game of chess. But this seems like that's possible just using the basic rules. Sure, well, yeah, yeah. So. Basic rules of chess, you could just go, let's say I'm white here, I go okay. check, and you're black, you have to move. The okay, team. so I get out of the way. And maybe if I'm not, don't know too much about chess, I'll just go <laughs> random okay. moves. Okay, so, but we could just keep doing this all day, sure. Yeah, 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 and it's, it could go on forever. Right, but this doesn't seem like a very realistic situation. This is not gonna happen in a real game No, of chess. no, 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 so, so more realistically, uh, maybe we, the game would end in perpetual check. So maybe to annoy me, you would throw the check. Ah, so I could move that here. Yeah, check. and now I have the problem that I can't get away. Because if I, they, this is my only legal move. Oh, well, I'm gonna put you in check again. Yeah, what are you do and I am so annoyed. Oh no, well, I'm gonna put you in check again. Yeah, I am so annoyed that I will not resign this game and I will force you to do that forever. <laughs> Yeah, so I agree, this was a real problem. So they devised a rule yeah. uh, to sort this problem out. And the rule was that uh, a game ends in a draw if there is a sequence of moves that repeats three times in a row. And that seems like a good idea. Because uh, we're only on a finite board, aren't we? Surely if it's an infinite game that's going on forever, we're gonna end up having some sequence of moves that repeats three times in a row. But there turned out to be a problem with this rule. Yeah, in fact, even on a finite chessboard, giving those uh, rules, even that draw rule, you can have an infinite game of chess. So uh, Dutch mathematician, chess grandmaster, and one time world champion, Max Irving in 1929, came up uh, with a proof, actually, that this was not sufficient uh, to ensure that the game would uh, terminate at some point. And this proof involved something called the Tui Moore sequence. The Tui Moore sequence has been discovered and rediscovered several times over the years, but it's actually quite easy to define. Uh, so the idea is this, you take a sequence of zeros and ones, and then what you're going to do is create a new sequence of zeros and ones by just flipping all the digits. So just turn every zero into a one, every one into a zero. And then you attach that onto the end of your original sequence. So you start with a zero, and then that becomes zero, one. And then that becomes zero, one, one, zero. And then that becomes zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. And then this carries on and you create this infinite sequence of zeros and ones. Now, there's a couple of interesting things about this sequence. Oh, I know one of those. What's one of those things? One of them is that it's made up of two simple building blocks. Uh, zero, one, one, and a zero. And the reverse, one, zero, zero, one. Yeah, absolutely right. So you got those building blocks. And the other interesting thing, which we're gonna need later on, is that if you eliminate every second digit, you actually just get the two more sequence again. So it's still in there in every second digit. And we're going to use the Tui Moore sequence to play our infinite game. So what we have to do is we have to translate the zeros and the ones uh, into chess moves. Yeah. So let's say that uh, for every uh, zero, we have a sequence of moves that would be uh, white goes first. So we have this move, it's black's turn. This is not very interesting move, we're just trying to prove, prove a point, so it's not black's turn. And then white, rather timidly, moves back, <laughs> and then this is what So happens. it's just those four moves, yeah. and you end up back where you started as yes. well. Yes, yeah. And then there was the zero, now we do the one. So the one is kind of similar, yeah. but it's the other knight, and the other knight, and then the other knight goes back, and the other knight goes back again. Just four moves, and you end up back to where you started. Yes. And so now if you do that, and you follow the 2A more sequence, this will be an infinite game. But it will be an infinite game where no sequence of moves is repeated three times in a row. And we can prove that this works as well. Well, we can't. You can. First, we know, like you said, that the sequence is built from building blocks of 1001 and 0110. Uh, so we know that there can't be any short sequences repeated three times in a row. You can't have zero, 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 yeah. or zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, 
because that's not built out of those building blocks. So we can rule out those short sequences that get repeated. Now, the other thing we know is that the sequence can't be of odd length uh, because the double digits in the 2A more sequence always appear at odd positions. Now, if you had a sequence of odd length, if it was 0, 1, 1, repeated, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, the double digits will not always be in the odd positions. So that's impossible. So we know if there is a sequence that repeats three times, it has to be even length. Uh, so let's say it's something like 0, 1, 1, 0. And you repeat that, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now we have this other property. If we eliminate every second digit, oh, we get the original yeah. sequence back again. Yeah. Well, if we do that, uh, in this case, you'll see that if we eliminate every second digit, we shorten that down, we half its length, and we get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And we already know that's impossible. That is not part of the 2A more sequence. So that is an impossible repetition. And that's the same for any sequence of even length. If we just keep halving it, we just keep eliminating every second digit and keep halving the chain length, eventually you'll end up with a short sequence that we already know is impossible. Yes. So we can prove that you can't have any sequence three times in a row, and that's exactly what we need to show that we can have an infinite game of chess. And we don't really want an infinite game of chess. No. We want a finite, we want the game to terminate. But I believe there are two new rules that we use today that prevent an infinite game from happening. Yes, so Max Weber, he noticed this problem and they fixed it. So uh, they introduced two rules. One is called the 50 move rule. So 50 is a great number. And uh, what it is, is that uh, if no player moves a pawn, and no player captures a piece for 50 moves, that's why that's the name of the rule, the game can be declared a draw. And that makes sense because that means each player is forced to play irreversible moves. Yeah, it is not sufficient in itself. They have a second rule also. It's called uh, the threefold repetition rule. Mm. And it's about repetition, but it's not a sequence of moves yeah. repeating. It is board states or positions that we usually say in chess. So you're not allowed to repeat the same board state three times in a game? During a game, if the board state or the position three times, not necessarily in a row, but just three times during the game repeats, you can claim a draw. Uh, but I've heard that these rules only take effect if the player notices. You have to claim the draw, yes. So if you don't claim the draw, you could just chase each other around. If you day. didn't really have anything else to do, you could just go on forever and nobody claims the draw. Okay, now uh, the reason we're in this rather unusual location today is because we've been filming videos with uh, Rune uh, about uh, chess and maths in Bletchley Park. So here we are at Bletchley Park and actually we're going to put a video up on Outray Chess uh, about a man called Hugh Alexander who was a British uh, chess champion and a British code breaker. So do check out that video on Outray Chess and apart from that, if you have been, thanks for watching.